In this video, we will try to learn about the comparative statics with one endogenous variable. Uh, basically, as we know, the comparative statics in the earlier video, I have told you it is used uh, to compare, rather it compares the different equilibrium values of the endogenous variables resulting from and the change in the values of the exogenous variable and the parameters in the model. So, in this uh, video, we will see what is the how do we calculate the comparative statics analysis with one endogenous variable okay so first of all we must remember that when we use the comparative statics we can use it for the specific functions and for the general functions that is specific function is given like this specific function like we have a specific uh, function like quantity demanded and quantity supplied of a commodity let us say quantity demanded is given by a relation that is m minus n p plus k y uh, where um, where m n and k are the parameters q d is the quantity demanded p is the price and y is the uh, consumer's income similarly and we have some restrictions that is m n and k these are uh, greater than zero or they are positive similarly quantity supplied let us say is given by a plus uh, bp where a and b are greater than zero so these are the space this is the specific function by the general function uh, i will write here general function general function could be like this that we have the demand uh, demand is equal to that is d py where uh, so i will write where this dp is greater than zero uh, less than zero and dy is greater than zero okay similarly we have the supply uh, supply is given like that is sp that is supply is a function of price only okay so this is the uh, specific function and general function we can use the comparative statics uh, with both the specific and general functions okay now the specific function can be solved that is we can solve the specific uh, function by two ways that is we can solve it explicitly explicitly or we can use the implicit uh, implicit method uh, implicit safely okay so uh, with in the case of specific uh, functions we can uh, solve uh, the comparative statics uh, with explicitly or implicitly okay but the general function can only be solved with the implicit method uh, implicit rather implicitly we can solve the general function okay so let us see how do we calculate uh, rather how do we find the equilibrium when some and uh, exogenous variable change okay so let us say here we have this very specific function and we solve first it by explicitly we solve it explicitly rather okay as we know that uh, equilibrium occurs via so I will write uh, equilibrium occurs where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied so I will uh, use the explicit method here in this then I will uh, solve it implicitly so equilibrium will occur where demand is equal to uh, quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied that means we can equate these two functions that is m minus n p plus k y is equal to uh, a plus uh, b p okay now further solving we can write this like uh, we can write this this is we will transpose this is m uh, minus n p uh, m minus n p plus k y minus a minus b p so uh, sorry i will write it again I have done some error here so let me rub this properly so we will first express uh, these very functions 
np that is in the price so i can write it like this uh, way that is um, what will we do we can write m uh, plus ky m plus ky and transpose this minus a okay we have done b b and transposing this uh, this minus np on this side this will become plus np okay and we will express this in the prices okay this is here m minus a plus ky is equal to so taking p as common so we are with b plus n or our p is equal to m minus a plus ky divided by uh, b plus n okay now <coughs> now we can use the comparative statistics and we can determine how the equilibrium level uh, of the endogenous variable uh, which is here um, this p star uh, will change for uh, any change in the single exogenous variables where uh, the single exogenous variable we have in this relation is the income and m a k b and n these are the parameters so we can uh, rather uh, we can gauge the responsiveness of the equilibrium price to change in the income or any of the other uh, parameters okay so how do we see we just take the partial derivative of um, the price with respect to income or oh, that means dp divided by dy so partially differentiating this very function with respect to incomes here the derivative of m would be zero the derivative of a is zero the derivative of y would be one so we are left with this k so we will get k divided by b plus n i hope i am making myself clear or i will show in step by step how you how we can solve this so i will rub this out so uh, to find to find uh, the impact of the change in the income in this model we just take the derivative so i will write dp divided by dy would be equal to so first i will write it uh, like this so here we i can write it like this m divided by b plus n minus a divided by b plus n plus ky divided by b plus n okay now here and um, if we uh, differentiate this very function with respect to income so since no y is uh, here available so the derivative would be zero here no y is available so the derivative would be zero the derivative of y in this case is one so we will get dp divided by dy is equal to k divided by b plus n okay now what does this mean what does this mean uh, it simply means that increase in consumers income that increase in consumers uh, income in this model uh, in this case will lead to increase in the equilibrium price that is increase in equilibrium uh, equilibrium price of the good okay so if uh, the values of this b and n and k are available we can actually solve rather the specific uh, size of the price increase okay if we know the derivative if we know the value of n b and k and uh, n b and k sorry we can uh, we can gauge the specific size of the price increase okay so basically what does this tell us we just take the partial derivative with respect to the exogenous variable to see the responsiveness of the exo uh, change in the exogenous variable in this model okay so this is how do we solve the function uh, implicit uh, sorry uh, explicitly so we can also use the implicit uh, method here so i will show you how do we solve this very uh, demand and supply model this specific demand and supply model uh, using the implicit theorem okay 
so let us what we do since we know quantity demanded should be equal to quantity supplied so that implies m minus n p plus k y should be equal to a uh, plus b p okay now in the implicit uh, what will we do uh, we will move everything uh, to the left in this case that means so we can write q d minus q s is equal to zero that implies uh, we can write m minus n p plus k minus a minus b p is equal to zero so first uh, we move everything on the left hand side in this case okay after that what we do we will take the derivative of this function with respect to y okay so here we can see no y is involved so the derivative of m will be equal to zero here we have minus n and the derivative of p would be dp divided by dy by we are using the implicit function theorem i hope you know uh, plus since no y is involved here it will be zero this will be also equal to zero and here we have i guess i have missed something here we should have a m minus n plus k times y sorry this is k times y so here we have k times y so i will write here so here uh, the derivative of y would be one so we are left with k the derivative of a is zero similarly we have minus b the derivative of p with respect to y would be dp divided by dy which should be equal to zero so how do we use the implicit function theorem i have shown you here here no uh, m is involved here uh, we take this the derivative of p with respect to y that is dp divided by dy because we are using the implicit differentiation here okay similarly the derivative of k uh, the derivative of y would be dy divided by dy which is equal to one so we are left with k the derivative of constant would be here zero and here we have minus b the derivative of p would be in this case dp divided by dy which should be equal to zero oh now um, manipulating this we can write it like this uh, if we write k is equal to transposing other uh, terms on the rhs this will become n times dp divided by dy plus b dp divided by dy okay and we can write k is equal to taking dp divided by dy is common dp divided by dy is common we are left with n plus b or we can write dp divided by dy is equal to k and transposing this will go into the denominator n plus b okay we have used the explicit implicit uh, uh, implicit function theorem uh, in solving this very question also and we got the same result when solving with the uh, when solving the same question with uh, explicit method okay but the result is same that and uh, this says and uh, this means that an increase in consumers income in this model uh, will lead to increase in the equilibrium price why because we are getting this k divided by n plus b is greater than zero since this is zero that means increase in consumers income will lead to increase in equilibrium uh, equilibrium price okay since we are taking the um, 